Hi, my name is Mark Cassioli. Today you'll be seeing the viewpoints and you'll get to understand the side of these commuters. Then you also hear from the director of the commuter lifestyle and how she wishes to hear these students. Veronica Jurasimo, Director of Commuter Programs and Services. A lot of my day is focused around communication with commuter students. I do do a lot of programming within the office. We do a commuter appreciation week once a semester. Um, I also oversee a commuter leadership opportunity called the Commuter Assistant Program. So we'll work with that program, whether it's administering the program and maybe recruiting in the springtime to find new commuter assistants. So every day is kind of different. Uh, it's just but obviously very focused on the commuter life and, and looking to see what I can do in my role to make a change. Queens. I live in Regal Park. Coming all the way from Queens. I commute from Elmont. Um, been good. Um, I believe the the shuttle service is pretty reliable. All right. To be completely honest, I like the commuter life because I don't have to deal with like staying here all day. Like I think it really gets annoying. I spend almost twenty dollars a day on train, subway, and L I W R. Um, being a commuter. It's really helpful when it comes to homework because I get to do all my homework done before leaving campus or when I get on campus because I get either like early before classes or I get to stay, you know, a little late before leaving. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Nope, because the bus schedule suck. Like if, if you miss the 520, no, if you miss the six o'clock bus, you gotta wait another hour and 40 minutes, which is pretty crazy. And it's like, if you wait in by the station, the bus comes every hour, and like it leaves. Like if you if it leaves, you're you're pretty much done for. Sucks. They gotta fix everything. They gotta fix the bus schedule. And that's it. Um, I think that there should be improvements on the food on campus. I feel like we're so limited when it comes to what we get to eat. It affects me financially a lot because I spend almost twenty dollars a day on train, subway, and L I W R. Yeah, I miss every single event. They had a bouncy house the other day. I wasn't able to come because I'm a commuter. That we're not connected to the school as much. Yeah. I probably would because I would probably wouldn't procrastinate as much. Probably go to class every day instead of staying at home. I don't think it would be, it wouldn't be beneficial to me in any way. Um, I don't really like the the campus life like that. Like. I like being involved in everything, but living on campus, I'm not interested. And then on top of that, I commute from Elmont, which is not too far from here, so it wouldn't make much sense to live on campus. There's dead one. There's, There's really there is one. That's a dub. Do you know where it is? I didn't know there's a dub. Dub. I know there's commuter appreciation week no, where they I get know. a cup and a I know car charger. A I appreciate the I car know. charger. I didn't know using the commuter it. department. Right. I did not know that actually. That's it makes I haven't seen nothing about the department. Is, all I see I, is community appreciation week. Yeah, that's the only thing they really push. That's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the biggest difficulties in my position is that I am just a liaison. So there are not a lot of things that I am specifically in charge of, have my hands on, can make a change in. Um, so it is very difficult. I will not reach everybody. And then there are some students that do have to take accountability that they don't put themselves out there to attain the information. So there's a percentage of students that I will never reach. There's a percentage that I automatically reach. And I do what I can to try to get in the middle. Um, but it is a two-way street. So I really encourage commuter students to keep their eyes open, read their emails. If they have a question, they know that I'm here to ask, um, but there are, uh, I'm still going to miss people. Um, but I think we've done a good job trying to do what we can. We've increased commuter leadership. About 35, 40% of students that um, all the club leaders are commuters. Um, we've increased pride in being a commuter student, happiness, satisfaction, all of that has, has gone up um, a lot since I've been here for the past there you five. have it. You're able to see how the commuters felt and how the directors look and make a change. A lot of the commuters had a strong belief on how they felt the campus was and how it would never get better. But you had to ask yourself, will it ever get better? And will these commuters' questions ever see the light of day? I'm Marcus Ely, reporter from Studio Westbury.